Welcome to episode four. In this video, we're covering all of these things. Wow. Holy. Jeez. Let's start off with the cooling systems that are built specifically for this swap. We're back at it again with our three favorite brands, Flying Miata, V8 Roadsters, and Monster Miata. As far as I can tell, all three of these will drop right into your Miata and reuse the stock rad mounts. Obviously, there's more to it than price, but all three of these options have good reputations in the community. So if you want to buy one of these cooling systems, just do your own research and figure out which one is most appropriate for your build. For a DIY option, you can get a house or a Griffin radiator that's going to be big enough to cool your LS and it's still going to fit. However, neither of these come with mounting brackets, so you're going to need to figure out all of your own rad mounting as well as cooling fans and hoses. On my V8 Miata, I used the Griffin radiator and then I built a rad cradle for the bottom mounts. And then I used an old school Mustang top rad mount and I modified it to look like this to clamp it down from the top. I was also able to get it to fit under the stock rad support and it just gave me a bit of extra room for my accessories on the front of my engine. Now, this is definitely not the only way to mount your rad, and I also did it this way because it gave me a spot to mount my massive skid plate to on the front of the car. Just remember when you're mounting your rad, you cannot solid mount it. Your rad is going to expand, so you have to make sure that you either mount it using insulator bushings or have it clamped in between mounts. Otherwise, you're gonna have big problems. Your rad hoses are going to depend on just whatever setup you have, so do some form searching for your specific setup. Otherwise, take some coat hangers, bend them into the rough shape, grab the diameters of your rad hoses, and go down to your local parts store and annoy them for hours, testing every single hose they have in their store. They'll love you for it. For your cooling fans, you can grab a pair of fans off of a Ford Contour that are going to look like this, and they're going to fit perfectly on a house radiator like the one that we just mentioned. This is the closest match I've seen for anything that you can pull out of a junkyard. You can always also just go with one big fan like this or two smaller fans like these. Just again, when you're starting up your car, make sure that they're adequately cooling and see if you need a shroud or not. Also, if you're running out of room in your engine bay for your accessories, you can mount your fan on the front side of the rad instead of the back side and have it wired as a pusher fan instead of a puller. And that's a big brain move right there. Okay, let's talk about your fuel system. So right off the bat, when you upgrade to an LS, you're going to need to replace your fuel pump with something with a higher flow rate. A Walbro 255 is going to be your go-to for most mild LS Miatas. If you're making more than 500-600 horsepower, just go online and calculate what size of pump you need for your expected power. You'll also need to replace your stock Miata fuel filter and install a fuel pressure regulator. Your best bet here, in my opinion, is to put in a C5 Corvette fuel pressure regulator and filter all in one. These little bad boys have been ran for years with little to no problem and you'll just need a handful of EFI and AN fittings to get them connected to your fuel system. We put a great form right up in the description that covers step by step how to do it and all the part numbers that you need to get it in and working in your car. Now the one thing in the fuel system that we haven't talked about yet. Fuel lines! So stock Miata fuel lines are 5 16 lines which can actually support over 500 horsepower. So for most of you, do you need to replace your fuel lines? No, but when you're putting in your fuel pressure regulator, you're buying your fittings for your feed line to your engine and you're probably going to spend more on those fittings than you would on an entire roll of 3 8 fuel line. So it's a fun, easy, quick little project that you can do and it'll be a supporting mod if you ever want to make more power. So now you know and the choice is up to you. Well that covers everything for our cooling and fuel systems. See you in the next video where we go over electrical, how to get your gauges to work, and setting up all of your pedals.